Hokey dokey. In this problem, they say to find the solution to this differential equation with the initial value, y of 2 equals negative 2, you use Euler's method. I know it looks like Euler's, um, but math heads and whomever might say Euler's. So that's the pronunciation I will use. Uh, so Euler's method with a step size of 0.3. What is your approximation? 4. 2.6. So let's start with what we know. We know that when uh, the t value is 2. So this input value is our t value. The output, the y value is negative 2, which means we know that when t is 2, the y value is negative 2. Then what they tell us is that we have a step size of 0.3. That's telling us how much the t values will increase by each time. So a step size of 0.3 would take us to 2.3, and then one more time, to 2.6, adding 0.3 each time. And so what they're asking us is, can we use Euler's method to approximate the y value at 2.6, when t is 2.6? And so let's investigate this. So let's kind of break this down. This is the very stripped down version of one you might see for Euler's method. So the idea is to approximate y1, which you could describe as like the next y value. So in other words, to approximate this y value here at 2.3, we will use the previous y value, y0, plus the y prime value we get when we plug in these t and y values in here times the step size. And the step size again is 0.3. So that will never change when we're doing these iterations of this method. So let's give it a shot. To approximate y at 2.3, we will use the previous y value, which was negative 2, plus we need a y prime value, and for y prime we need a t and a y, which means the only possible t and y values we could use would be the ones we have. So 2 is t, and uh, y is negative 2. So y prime, we'll just work this out to the side, t is 2 times y minus 2, so negative 2 minus 2, and we get 2 times negative 4 or negative 8 for y prime. So negative 8 is our y prime value. And then times the step size, 0.3. All right, so we will calculate this in Desmos. All right. So we have, oh boy, negative 2 times negative 8. All right, negative 2 plus negative 8 times 0.3. And we get negative 4.4. .4. So negative 4.4 .4 becomes our estimated y value for 2.3. I don't like this color. It doesn't blend well. Let's give, a, let's give it a, let's go, let's keep it orange. I'll keep it green. I'll mix it up. All right. Negative 4.4. .4. Let's not waste any more time. Next y value we are approximating will be the y value at 2.6. Again, we take the previous y value, in other words, the one we just found, negative 4.4, .4, and we are adding y prime, which we have to recalculate. However, the step size will remain the same. It's still 0.3. But again, the reason we need a new y prime value is because now we want to use this t value in this y value in y prime. So y prime is t, so 2.3 times y, which is negative 4.4, .4, minus 2. So y prime will be 2.3 times... 2.3 times, I think, negative 6.4 if we subtract that 2. Negative 6.4, and we get negative 14.72. So keep in mind, these values will not always be nice, but as long as you're calculating them correctly, you should have no trouble. So negative 14.72. And let's go ahead and calculate that. Negative 4.4 plus or minus 14.72 times 0.3. So minus 14.72 times 0.3. And we get negative 8.8816 8, or 
negative 8.82, whatever you want to call it. So negative 8.8 .8 is our approximated y value for the t value of 2.6. So we break out the eraser to see that b is our answer. All right. I'll go ahead and work out one more example, probably a little bit faster in the next video. So feel free to check that second example out.